Hey game developers, Bilal from Zenfinity.net here and welcome back to the next part of the C Sharp Fundamentals for Unity course. And in this one we're going to be covering operators. So if you want to see the previous one, which is about primitive types, uh, go ahead and click the card in the top up here and um, go ahead and watch that video first. But if you're obviously well versed in that, um, then just go ahead and continue and follow along with me here. So without um, yeah, spending too much time here, we can just go ahead and talk about the arithmetic uh, operators, uh, which are obviously you know, plus, minus, uh, multiply, and divide. And uh, we can also talk about the Boolean ones, which are or and and, and we'll also be using the not operator. So let's go ahead and get started here by trying out um, all these different ones. So we can do two plus one, and I'll copy and paste that a lot of times. So we'll do two minus one, two times one, and two uh, divided by one. So these will all obviously um, return, which is um, like, you know, evaluate uh, an expression. They'll all be evaluated as uh, the correct numbers that we should expect here. So we can go ahead and hit F5 to run a debug version. Uh, and we'll see that uh, two plus one obviously is three, two minus one is one, and the rest of these do, of course, return the correct uh, values that we expect. So I'll hit a key here to close this. And uh, we can go ahead and explore the Boolean uh, operators here. So I'll go ahead and delete these. And um, I'll do, well, I'll write uh, true in here, obviously, since that's that Boolean value. And I'll write uh, false, just so that you uh, Oh, <laughs> false. Just to understand uh, what these are really going to be looking like when we print them, um, so that we so that we understand that, for example, uh, if we were to write, um, like say one is greater than two, and actually we didn't cover these yet, so let me go ahead and uh, write four of those. But if we were to say one is greater than two, that's a false statement, so that should print the same thing as this. So let's go ahead and write all of those in. So we'll say one is less than two, one is greater than or equal to two, and one is uh, less than or equal to two. So that should be, uh, um, th these will all evaluate as their Boolean things. So obviously one is not greater than two, so that's gonna be false. One is less than two, that'll be true. One is not greater than or equal to two, so that will also return false, but one is less than or equal to two because one is less than two. So uh, let's go ahead and look at these values we're gonna see uh, well, up here like. So we'll see uh, true and false, like we just type those in. And we'll see false, true, false, true, like we said. Um, so perfect. Um, but how do we get, uh, I guess, you know, more interesting data in here uh, with, with our Boolean operators? So let's go ahead and see what happens if we were to use and and or. So we'll say true and true. And we're gonna do something of a similar to a truth table here. So um, we'll do uh, true and true or true or true, true and false. And we'll do, um, actually, yeah, let's go through all the ands first. So true and true, true and false. Um, and then we have false and false. And um, so, so this is going to be these two will be, um, this will return as true, this will return as false, and this will return as false because it needs, with an and statement, both need to be true. So let's go ahead and comment these out uh, like that, um, or you can just delete them. Um, and I'll hit F5 so we can look at what that looks like. And there we go. So yeah, true, false, false, since an and is inclusive here. So let's go ahead and try some ors here. So I can basically just remove these ands and change them to ors. And that means that both of these are going to be true since an or statement only needs at least one statement out of it uh, to return uh, true or evaluate as true. And then that will make the entire thing uh, true. So let's go ahead and F5 and we should see two trues and one false. And that's actually the case. Um, and that's uh, pretty much all the operators. So we can go ahead and actually look at the final operator, which is the not one, and then we can have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and close that off. And we can say um, console.writeLine, and we'll put in a not false, 
and a not true. Now um, that should print true and then false and uh, just because a not will negate the boolean value to be the other boolean value. So let's go ahead and hit F5 and we will see true and then false just from printing not false and not true. Okay. So why don't we make like a more complex expression here using uh, one of these comparators here um, and some ors and ands and maybe a not somewhere. So let's say one is greater than two. So that's not true. That is clearly a false statement. Um, so let's do an and with a true statement here. So we'll say two is greater than one. And we know that this is going to return false because um, it needs to be, um, like we said, both true. Uh, so then let's put an or in here, um, and then we'll say something that's, I guess, supposed to be true here. So let's do one uh, is less than two, and uh, well, let's do an or. Or um, I guess three is greater than true, uh, two. And those are both true, so this is going to return true. So we see here a true statement and a false statement. Um, so let's go ahead and see what that prints out for us by hitting F5. And we get a true since, of course, it's an or with two trues. But what if we you know, add a not right here? What does that do? Um, well, it's going to be technically negating this or over here and making it become an and. Um, so that means that both of these values these switch uh, like which boolean they are to the other boolean and the or becomes an and and if there was an and it'll become an or. So let's go ahead and hit F5 and see what that does. And it becomes false because this statement previously returned true um, but now this statement returns false and so does this one because it just always did and now we have a false or false like we printed before and that just uh, returns false. So that's all that happens here. Um, and yeah, I mean, we covered all the main uh, operators that you're going to be using pretty much every day if you're programming. Um, and those are the arithmetic ones and the Boolean ones. So that's going to be it for this video. And if it uh, made sense and if you're understanding, make sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe to see the rest of the videos that come into this course. And there's also a bell that you can click on the bottom right of the video that will make it so these videos pop up in your notifications. So when a new one comes up, you'll see it on your phone or your computer or wherever. With all that said, I will see you in the next episode. And thanks for watching.